Okay, Shalom, first and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, and Kakadash. The blindness to the elders and the apostles of GMS, the great millstone, and Ruel. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayav, the the house of David, and the brother Zion. Brother Yakalam. The brother Karab. And um, we just three brothers out of the GMS Boston. Um, GMS Boston camp, you know, the Lord gathered us together, so uh, it's fitting for us to, you know, to do the work of the Lord, to give that proclamation. All right, to Yashar and also to the other nations, you know, to, uh, to proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, to prepare war, you know, wake up the, wake up the mighty men. Uh, it's year of 2020, the year of prophecy. And, just, man, these prophecies are moving. They're rolling, you know. And we were just watching some old videos of the brothers that are in um, GMS Jamaica, GMS Trinidad, uh, GMS London. And, and, and it, it's a beautiful thing through the spirit of the Lord that the Lord um, has sincere brothers in GMS that are waking up on the four winds of the earth and we're all coming together in unisex, coming together in, in, in harmony um, and noising this gospel, this good news uh, unto the world, you know? And, and it's beautiful that it, when you look at the nation of Israel, how, how far we've come since... You know, us coming over here on cargo slave ships, from them taking down Gad, um, us falling away so uh, so much to what the Lord is doing now and gathering his, his elect together, is uh, it's a miracle, man. Karn, this is the book of Psalms 133 and 1, a song of the um, degrees of David. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's one of the things that beautifies the hearts of, of King Solomon. Um, brethren that 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 live together in, in unisex and, that, and live together in in perfect harmony, and this is what we're doing and um, rebuilding this third temple, all right, which is a the spiritual temple, and it's, uh, uh, this spiritual temple is one that won't be uh, defeated by these heathens, right? It's it's something that 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 we do um, to to please the Lord, you know. It's pleasing to the Heavenly Father to be on one accord, to be one body, underneath one name, underneath one rulership, you know, underneath one ordinance. Uh, you know, I'm going to get a quick precept. This is Amos 9-11. It says, In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruin, and I will build it as in the days of old. Right, and then you go, what was the, starting with the ruins was, you know, that falling away, us coming over here. Um... It was the beginning of basically a downfall. I think it was that movie Apocalyptos. Mm -hmm. They show you um, at the end of the movie. They show they show you Esau um, hitting them shores. Yeah, yeah, and and that's and then you know Jake was going off, but it was written in the book of Deuteronomy that if we transgressed the laws, we was going off. That these plagues would come upon us, and that was that plague started with what um, the arrival of E, which um, get Revelation six. Mm -hmm. Because when, when E came upon the shores, what, what followed them, you know, um, death, death, and destruction. Karn, and um, this is the book of Revelation 6, and I'm going to go down to 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And they that should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Now, now E brought that sword, he brought that peace. Go to Revelation 11. Baba Kasha, and you can keep stay on um, the Tabernacles of David because we're going to link it all up together and, and, and going back to the first scripture, how beautiful it is for brothers to um, go back together. So when you go to the book of uh, Revelation, read Revelation, um, uh, you can start at 7. <clears throat> it's the book of Revelation 11 and 7. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them. And the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit is going into Esau, Edom. The bottomless pit is Europe. All right. The scriptures say that they will make war with the saints and the conquer the saints. And that's exactly what they did. Go ahead. And shall overcome them and kill them. And their bodies and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Now that that that, that scripture precept lines up with uh, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. When the Lord took Ezekiel and brought him up into the midst of the uh, valley of dry bones. All right. That valley symbolizing what America and the dead bodies are symbolizing the nation of Israel. Being in a dead state, not knowing who they are, not knowing their history, their culture, their heritage, not knowing their power, 
not falling out to the loss. That's giving us the best of the ability to just being dead. All right, this life is the the word is compared to uh, uh, the the spirit of Yahweh Shai. That water is compared to Yahweh Shai. You know, so these are all um, life sustaining elements that you need for life. All right, but but as we start to come alive, we're gonna come alive how by the word. Right, he said, prophesy unto these bones. That's why it's important for you brothers to prophesy, hit the highways and byways, and to teach uh, our people who they are, because that's what gives life into them through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Um, what? If I may mention, too, uh, if the scripture, that same precept of uh, Ezekiel 37, talking about blow breath inside of them, that's how you know that something's living. Cause you can look at the chest and see that it's inhaling and exhaling, you know, so that shows you that, you know, that's that's life going into a person, you know. Right, that's beautiful. Call it CPR. Mm -hmm. CPR and also um pumping of the chest which right. which mm -hmm. can jump start the heart. Mm -hmm. Right? Call where also our Lord was crucified. Yep. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. Uh huh. They yep. shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in grave. Yep, go ahead. Um and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. Keep reading. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from our power entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. Yeah, so when you go into the, the, the three days and a half, um, 350 years around the time since we came over here, starting with um, 19, uh, Sakia, 1619. 19, yep. So the year 2020 will make it a full 20 years. But taking going into the time about the sixties, when the Lord put the spirit on Abba Bibbins, that's three hundred and fifty years since since we've been dead. And the Lord put the spirit in, in, in the sixties. And that was also um pursuant to the book of Obadiah. The Lord the Lord said as soon as Esau went into the uh heavens, that's when he was gonna begin to bring them down. And then from there Abba Bibbins Pass the torch on to the elders, elders, you know, uh, King Mashal and the apostles. And they held that torch and they pass it down today, to this day. So you see what a living body. Brothers all around the four winds of the earth that's singing the same song beautifully, right? Keep going, bro. And they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yep, and we, fell, we stood upon our feet. And what was that? The Tabernacles of David. <clears throat> All right, so this this is how this all links in to what's going on today and how important the word is because the word is literally a, a vibration that manifests itself. You got to remember that the world was void and, and what you see was manifested all by a word, all right, which was the vibrations and, and, and the spirits that went through the earth that, that now you see what you see and you, you feel what you feel because of that vibration that was pushed forth. So the word is important. Going back to Ezekiel. You know, those those dry bones were dead, but they came alive because of the word. That's right. Um, we've got a quick precept to back this brother up. This is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Yep. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such yep. as, have, as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. Yep. When they see it, they shall be ter they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right. So far beyond all that they look for. Because he said... That um, great fear fell upon them. Uh, what, what arose was an exceeding army, mm -hmm. and great fear fell upon them. So the precept to that is what the brother just read in Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter. When they see us rise up, um, they're going to get afraid because not only did they kill us, but they sent gifts and they celebrated the fact that we were dead. So naturally, um, our coming alive would do what? It would scare the shit out of them because... They know we, we, we come back to seek retribution. Mm -hmm. They know that there's a payment. Get Re Re Revelation 18 and 4. You got something, bro? Um, Go ahead. Just get Revelation 18 and 4. Uh, they know that a retribution and a payment is going to come back for what they did to us because they did it unrighteously. Come on, that's going into those nations that took that crafty counsel along with E, man, to come against us, to cast us off from knowing our heritage. Kind of got a quick precept. This is Second Thessalonians one and six. Yep. Seeing it, seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right, and this is what they did. They went out. The scriptures say they wearied their way. Matter of fact, go back to um, wisdom of Solomon, because mm -hmm. the scriptures say that they wearied their way in wickedness. Man, they went out of their way to 
to, to trouble us. And, and it's the, the, the Lord said it is a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And he's been troubling us. He still is troubling us. Come on. I'm going jump to down, jump down to 7. This is Wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 7. We worried ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yeah, we have gone through deserts where they laid no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. Right. Yeah, so they went. They, they they didn't know the way of the Lord, all right. Because why? They 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 they're Satan. They're the wicked. So they're gonna try to stop us from doing what we gotta do. They're gonna try to stop you from Satan to try to stop you from coming out to camp. Satan to try to stop you from linking with the brotherhood, from giving to the brotherhood, uh, from reading the scriptures, from meditating on him, to uh, believing on him, to anything for anything adversary. Satan is the adverse to what we stand for. You know, growth. Maturity, you know, um, building up spiritually, he's he's against that. And then the uh, Satan, basically, the incarnation of Satan is who he, he which is our our, our our worst enemy. Mm -hmm. And then you have two thirds of our own people who basically they've been compromised. They they sold out, in one one fashion or another, whether they physically, you know, pro uh, uh, participated in these rituals or, you know, they consciously, subconsciously, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter, you know. They're, 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 they're adverse to what we're, what we're trying to stand for, and they won't never get us. They'll never understand us, you know? They'll never understand us, but they'll be taken out of their way, all right? They'll, they'll die on this side, and they'll come through the lines of the seat of the elect, and, and they'll be in their right <clears throat> spirit. Right, yeah. Just to add on to what this brother just mentioned, you know, um, you know, everything in this world, you know, it, it, it's a load onto you, so it wears you out, you know? So when you get with brothers in the camp and you go do the Lord's work, guess what? You get a spiritual recharge. You come back fresh mm -hmm. and renewed, going back into that life. You you know, you, you, you feel alive more once you're around brothers. But, you know, as as the weeks and the days goes on, you know, it, this, this world starts to weigh down on you again. So that's why it's good to be amongst the brotherhood and do this work, you know? Like the brother mentioned earlier, the scripture says, um, you know, uh, this word is like a rivers of living water. You need water to nourish your, your body, but also you need the spiritual water to nourish your soul. It's like you also need food to nourish your body. It's the same thing. Let's talk about that. Uh, thou shalt not live off of bread alone, but every word of the of the Most High. So it's showing you that this is what's going to keep us going, keep us pushing. You know, you're going to have uh, 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 people out there. You're going to have Satan out there trying to stop us from getting this food, you know, getting this water. You know, but, you know, you got to fight through it. Few. A car needs few. That's right. It needs an oil chain, you know. Yep, the body's the body likewise, and likewise the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful said. Come this is the book of Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Yeah, and that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is making it out of America. But first, getting out of this place uh, mentally, spiritually, you know, emotionally. Don't be emotionally invested in this place. And then... And then use the tools that's been given to you to do what? To exit out of this place physically by way of a, a chariot, you know, being delivered. And that's what salvation is, being delivered from the destruction of the world that is to come. Mm -hmm. And that ye not receive of her plagues. And that's beautiful because that goes hand in hand with our, um, with our Micah 2 and 10 where it says, Depart, for this is not your rest. Mm -hmm. You know, because this place is... This, this place will destroy you. And um, you got a precept. Yeah, I got a precept just to back you up as well. This is um, 1 John 2 and 15. And it says, Love not the world, neither yeah. the things that are in the world. Uh -huh. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Right. Going back to what you just mentioned about Micah 2 and 10. You know, uh, to depart, but this ain't your rest. You know, because the things of this world will keep you stuck here. And there's a great judgment that's going to come to uh, to destroy this place, yeah. you know. And yeah, if you if your focus is on uh, the things of the world, guess what? You're going to get caught up in the mist. Because the scripture says everything instantly says the world's going to get burnt up and everything in it is going to get burnt up. So, right. You know, These things are going to fade away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it says right here, for her sins have reached into the heaven. And um, our Lord have remembered her iniquity. Remember her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she had filled for to her double. So most likely, not most likely, two thirds of our people, they're going to drink from that same cup. Mm -hmm. Come, yeah, and it's showing you that even with that, that's the, that's the ultimate destruction of ICBM touching down and, and, and burning up this place, which is showing you that the scripture talks about in one hour, this place is going to get burnt up. So all that Esau had yes, built yes, up, yes. all that uh, Jake is trying to store up in this time. Guess what? It's going to all come to naught within one hour. 
Uh-huh. You know, so it's showing you, man, this this place ain't this ain't the kingdom. So why 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 store like the scripture says, store up your treasures in heaven? Right, you know? right, right. This place wasn't set up for you, you so-called blacks, Native American, Hispanics. You know, it shows you in every which way financially. We're at the bottom. Um, we're we're politically unrepresented. You know, we're just it, it, disenfranchised. Like everything about us is is we get the shit in of the stick and it just proves that what this world wasn't set up for us yeah man they said it would take us 200 years to even catch up to the wealth yeah. as far as all the other nations and we ain't got another yeah. 200 years i think it was like well, one half of one percent jake jake owns one half of one percent of this nation's wealth you know um this is heavenly father did what he said he was going to do and that was to make us the the, uh, uh, a tail and made Esau the head and, and made these other nations rise up above us very fast mm-hmm. you know and the only way out of this is um, having faith in Yahweh the man that died for our sins um, the man that's the intercessor to Yahweh the most high who's, who's making intercession for us who's putting in a good cause for us you know that, and this is the reason why we do what we do but the only way out of it is through him yeah, um, like the brother mentioned, you know, uh, through Yahweh Shah, first you got to remember, you know, you got to you gotta know who you are, you know, you got to know that you're Israelite, you know, it's just all coming back into remembrance, then mm-hmm. you know who the Lord came for, mm-hmm. because when you read in Revelation, I think it's the 14th chapter, it talks about the 12,000 from each tribe, it doesn't say 12,000 from African Americans, 12,000, so it's talking about Gad, Reuben, so you got to identify yourself as an Israelite first right. and foremost, and then that's how, that's how you know who, who salvation is for, uh-huh. you know. Huh. Huh, I got a quick pre. This is um Baruch two and thirty. For I knew that for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivity they shall remember themselves. Yep. And that's right? it. Mm-hmm. In the land that we're in the land of our captivity. The land where it said we were not Israelites is the land that we're t- declaring to the world that look, we are the Israelites. Mm-hmm. And not just who our nation is, but who everybody else is. You know, we've identified the Moabites, we've identified the Amicites, we've identified identified E. Um, that covering cast is, is removed from off the faces of the world. Um, Cesare Bogia, you know, who the prophets are, you know, who, who, who what, what nationality the Lord, what color he was. Everything is now coming to the light, you know, so it, it's just part of our job, you know. Hey, man, so just we want to do a quick hit real quick. Um, it's quick, you know, uh, quick lesson. Uh, just, we know, it's impromptu. We just roll with the spirit. Um, we we pray that that was edifying. We want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rakhakadash, the blindness to the elders, and shalom to you, brothers. Shalom. shalom.